Hey guys, it's Steven Jonas Flavel with Caitlin, aka AtmoFish. Uh, we're going to be playing a new game called Pharmacon. This releases today on Steam. It's a really cool game. It reminds me a lot of Civilization, of Plague Inc. Those are the sorts of feelings that I got while playing it. And I'm going to run you through some gameplay with Caitlin taking the wheel. Caitlin doesn't really know what she's doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just going to have some fun with it. So this is the screen which you're going to be spending most of your time in in Pharmacon. What's going on here is we're a drone. It looks like we are an ice drone this time around. And we've been sent out to this planet to kill some stuff. Some beasties. Some beasties, apparently. So down at the bottom center is our drone. Right now it's empty. You can see on the bottom left, we have some drone bits and pieces. Sort of like Tetris pizzas. And we've got to stick those together in our drone in the space provided to us to get as much damage as possible. We're ice, and this is saying that that means we deal four to brown square, which is earth, three to lightning bolt, which I think is lightning, two to... <laughs> <laughs> two, to, two to blue fire, which is water, and one to red fire, which is uh, fire, fire, fire. So we're going to put our drone together as well as we can and see what we end up with. All right, so we weren't able to put all the pieces in the drone, at least not not with our, our many brains, but, <laughs> but we got a, a decent looking drone here. Apparently we deal 20 damage to earth creatures, 15 to lightning, Yada, yada, yada. Um, the other thing I want to highlight is we have repair bars. Well, let's get into combat and we'll talk more about that. All right. So our first enemy is the... Uh... The, like, the, it, it's like, he's like an armored worm. An armored worm. I think he's a high chipmunk who's been eating chocolate cake. <laughs> Um, okay. we can attack this guy from the back, front, left, or side. What that does will become clear later on. We can just attack him from wherever right now. And we deal 20 damage and he shoots us back. So whenever we attack a beast, if it doesn't die, it will attack us back. And it damaged one of the parts of our drone dealt some earth damage to us. We can repair that if we want. If we really don't want to repair it, we could instead reassign our little Tetris block elements of our drone to fit together around that damage. Or maybe the, the damage doesn't even affect how they were laid out to begin with. I'm whispering to the game. It's okay. I'm, I'm putting the piece back in so that we still deal 20 damage. And now he's dead. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh, data. All right, so from battles, we collect data, and data is sort of like experience. The more we get of this, we start to unlock abilities, and combat start to get a little bit more interesting We has, as we have different stuff that we can do. So we have our second fight here. We're up against two beasts, the Earth Square um, Rock Star Chipmunk, and... The other guy who's covered right now. What is that? This is a it's a beetle on legs. Oh, I think like he has a bird beak. A bird beak? I think it's a horse beetle. Okay. Maybe with a bird beak. With very glorious horns. So we get to see a couple of mechanics on display here. The first is that depending on where we attack a beast from, it gets pushed in the other direction. So if we attack the chipmunk with uh, the cool shades from the left, it's going to smash into the other beast and deal some damage there. Also, when it dies, it explodes. That dealt another five. So all told, we dealt six damage to our lightning enemy. Now, we also see rage building up. You can see it's all lightning-y and it has red eyes all of a sudden. That's because it's angry. Um, the first two times that beasts take damage from you know, just environmental sources, like things slamming into them or exploding next to them, they'll leave you alone. But the third time it happens, they attack back at you. So the two ways you can get attacked 
are one, if you attack something directly, it'll attack you back if it's not dead. And two, if it takes damage three times from other sources, it'll attack you back. In this case, though, we dealt enough damage to it by slamming the other beast into it. So we can just kill it with our drone, even though the drone's not as effective against lightning as it is against earth. So the game has given us another part here. Um, we can collect parts, not just ice parts, but we can actually get parts which deal other sorts of elemental damage and start to replace the parts that we've put in our drone with new ones instead. If we were amazing at stacking Tetris pieces, would probably be able to tell when it was possible to rearrange these into... No, I don't think we can. I don't know. It seems too difficult. So, whatever. We can also, of course, always salvage the parts to improve our ability to repair the drone. So right now we've got plenty of ability to repair damage from Earth, which seems to be what we're taking damage from. So it's not a big deal at the moment. We deal 20 to Earth, so all you have to do is slam into the one that has 21, and then they all just die in one attack. Yep. You got it? I think so. All right, take it away. <laughs> I like him when he gets angry. <laughs> All right, awesome. Uh... Do you think that's, do you think those are its ears? I think that it, I think that it's like a, a centaur, except its upper half is a cuddly bear. Oh, I see that. It's got the little front, yeah. front paws yeah, just hanging down. Yeah, it's like down. a teddy bear. It's, it's torso, it has a teddy bear torso on its front end. Okay. Yes. Um, hmm, I'm gonna take damage. Yes, I think you are gonna take damage. So it's about taking as little as possible. So the big enemies hit you for one to two damage, whereas the small ones only hit you for one. Although I don't, yeah, but if you don't I... have any choice. You have to take yeah. damage from a big one here. Yeah. I don't. I think if you if you move the water one like up or to the right, and then you slam it into the twenty five earth one. You'll get the earth one low enough to kill it with one attack. But if I take water damage, I only have two repairs. No. But you're going to take water damage anyway, right? There's no way that you can not. Mm. I'm pretty sure there's no way you could possibly not yeah, take water damage. So. Okay. so there's a bit of stuff to be thinking about Go in these fights. Shot. There's no time limit on your turns, so you can spend a lot of time. Um, you even get extra experience if you overkill, so you can potentially spend a lot of time working out exactly how to get as much damage as possible. Mm. So we took a shot back there, but we can... You actually don't need to repair at all. You can you can move the T piece down to the bottom left yeah, and replace it with the square. Hey, more efficient. Maybe. This mission is far from easy. I think the question is just whether you want to take lightning damage or earth damage. You're not gonna Yeah. You're not gonna make it through the fight taking no damage. So I also want to they don't do quite as much damage to lightning, so it seems like a good idea to attack it and then I don't think it matters. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with my plan. You did have a piece. You took two damage and they both got knocked off. No, I thought I had a piece that would go. Oh, I see. I don't like that I can't turn them. <laughs> yeah, you can't turn the ten the tennis pieces. You can't turn the Tetris pieces, which is a little bit weird as someone who grew up playing Tetris. Oh, wait. Ooh, I think we hit it twice, though. Oh, 
If you'd only hit that once, it wouldn't have got the three rage, but you hit it twice, so it attacked you back. Actually, didn't do too bad, because I can stick. All right, so this is essentially the level up screen. We played for a while. The games filled up our data bar. It actually gave us a ton of extra experience there, because I guess the tutorial wants us to get into this content. This lets us pick up special abilities. So we get to pick one of the icons at the top, it basically draws a line down through every ability in that column and those are all activated there's stuff like using a shot to deal plus 20 percent damage using a shot which deals extra damage for enemies of the same type a shot which paralyzes the enemy so it can't shoot back things like that all right so this is about as complex as I'm going to get with you guys. Um, as you continue to play the game, you'll pick up different types of damage for your drone. And you can start working out, you know, which parts are we scrapping for repair? Which ones are we using to deal damage to the enemies that we're meeting right now? How are we going to combine them to deal the right amounts of damage? Do we take some off for this turn specifically and put different ones on and so on? But yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you with... Uh, with the extra abilities, we have calibration attacks to care about as well now. So each time we use an ability like paralysis or precision, it gives us extra stuff for that shot, but it costs us seven calibration. And every shot that we take adds one to the calibration. So we can start thinking about delaying the ends of fights to get more calibration. We can start working out, do I use that resource now or do I save it for a later tougher fight? Stuff like that. Anyway, this is Pharmacon. I think it's a fun game. I recommend you check it out. It's available today on Steam. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little peek at the gameplay. Thanks so much for tuning in. I've been John Rips. Uh, I've been Atmofish. Sorry. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time for more of something. I don't know. Have fun on the internet, people. Stay safe. Ah, there we go.